I think that the writings of the New Testament and this sort of study should deeply chasten uh, reflection on Christian mission. Um, you know, Christian mission has always positioned itself as a rescue operation, that people were in desperate straits, were indeed under the influence of demons, and that we needed to, you know, baptize them in the dozens and thousands um, in order to rescue them. More and more over the last centuries, we've recognized the deep ambiguity of that already, the way in which Christian mission has also been a, a part of colonialism, uh, a part of a hegemonic project to displace other cultures. But I think there's, this study also suggests that it is impossible to read the reflections of, of Marcus Aurelius or of Epictetus and not recognize a very powerful, profound, authentic mode of religious expression. It is impossible to read the sacred tales of Aelius Aristides, that magnificent rhetorician who spent his life seeking physical healing from the god Asclepius, but was willing to accept his continuing suffering because the god sustained him in his career as a rhetorician and he attributed all of his success to the God. It is impossible to read this literature and not to recognize that it is the furthest thing possible from the demonic. It is indeed um, a form of religious expression from which we can learn much. And at the very least, we need to respect. So respect for the other, and then eventually learning from the other I think are the, the stages that Christians need to be at, both with regard to Judaism and to other world religions.